In this video, we will show you how to take a screen recording from this to this with multiple cursor effects. Let's take a look at each one, how to apply it, and why you would want it. If you want to follow along, download the free version. The link is in the description. Once you're done recording your screen, it will open in Camtasia. Click on your media and go to the Cursor Properties tab. When you record your screen, the cursor can be tiny, but you'll notice Camtasia automatically enlarges it to 225% of its original size. But if you want it bigger, just adjust the slider. Next, we're gonna add a cursor shadow effect to our recording. Go over to the Cursor Effects tab and a bunch of options will appear. Drag and drop the cursor shadow on your canvas or timeline. Over in the Properties panel, you can customize the offset, blur, opacity, and more. This gives our cursor a nice soft blur and it helps it stand out from the rest of the content on the screen. This is looking pretty good, but let's make it even better. Back in the cursor effects, let's add the kinetic effect. Over in the properties panel, adjust the intensity and the tilt. The kinetic effect tilts the cursor to guide your eye. It points your viewer to exactly where they should be looking, making your video easier to follow. This is looking good, but I'm gonna adjust it a little more to exaggerate it. There we go. As a reminder, you can toggle off any of the added effects in the properties panel. Let's toggle this one off for now. Let's add cursor motion blur. This effect is great because it adds a subtle motion blur to the cursor as you move it around the screen. This creates more realistic depiction of how our eyes perceive fast motion and it helps your cursor movements seem smoother. These effects are great because they can be combined for unique outcomes. Let's toggle back on the kinetic effect to see how these work together. Looks good. Pro tip. If you want to keep your cursor type consistent, you can easily replace it. Select the media in your timeline and you'll see the cursor types. Move your playhead over the one you want to update. In the Cursor Properties tab, click the arrow next to the cursor icon and a drop down will open. Then select the cursor you want. Changing your cursor can simplify your project, add continuity, and avoid having your cursor flashing back and forth between pointers so it doesn't look like you made a mistake. Now for our final effect, Cursor Elevation. Callouts can cover up your mouse cursor, ruining everything we did to make it stand out. You can see that before we add the effect, the cursor goes behind this annotation. In the cursor properties, when you switch the elevation to always on top, the cursor will now appear above the annotation. Let's review. This is what your video looked like in the beginning, and now here it is with the cursor effects applied, helping you create a more polished and enhanced screen recording. Let us know which of these effects you'll find most useful. If you enjoyed this video, hit like. And make sure to subscribe for more tips to take your videos to the next level. Thanks for watching.